In our practice, we're involved with sports medicine, which largely involves overuse injuries. The majority of overuse injuries occur from doing too much too soon with too little preparation, inadequate equipment, overtraining, result in bony injuries, tendinous injuries, ligamentous injuries, joint injuries. Some can be debilitating, some are just an annoyance. One of the mistakes, the common mistakes, is to try to exercise or run through the pain. If something hurts as you continue to exercise, it's usually a evidence that there's an underlying problem, as opposed to the initial stiffness and soreness that occurs with uh, the initial stages of activity. An ankle sprain is the most common athletic injury, and there are varying degrees of ankle sprains. Um, we grade them one through three, and um, it depends on the severity of the, the instability, the severity of the tissue trauma. Uh, the majority will respond to ice, bracing, and some physical therapy. The more severe ones may require casting and even sometimes surgical intervention. The accuracy of the diagnosis with a, a good thorough history, a good thorough physical examination, the appropriate radiographic studies, sometimes x-rays, sometimes stress x-rays, MRIs when necessary. And when you arrive to an accurate diagnosis, then you can implement appropriate treatment. Surgery is indicated the failure of conservative treatment. So if a patient continues to have pain and or dysfunction, and we've exhausted the non-surgical treatment options, surgery is often indicated. Uh, with an ankle sprain, it's quite often a ligament reconstruction, um, most commonly called a brostrum procedure, um, but a significant number of Achilles tendon problems we see. Plantar fasciitis is a common overuse injury. Um, basic sprains and strains. A strain is usually a muscular type of injury. A sprain is usually more of a joint-related um, injury but all of which can be chronic and debilitating or some can be rather mild and easy to deal with. One of the preventive measures for the weekend warrior is don't just be a weekend warrior. Um, a little bit of training and working out during the week is probably a good idea. The other is don't do too much too soon with too little preparation or faulty equipment. Um, the running shoe industry has exploded with technology um, in terms of some patients pronate or have a flat foot, some patients supinate and have a high arch foot, and those two foot structures benefit from different types of shoe wear. Listening to your body. Uh, when you start having pain and it's aggravated by certain activities, the smart thing to do is refrain from the, those activities. Probably the single best thing that we can do is stretch. Um, if you notice, most kids don't have overuse injuries. They have what's called tissue elasticity. As we age, we lose tissue elasticity, and that's why we feel stiff in the morning and kids typically don't. So a warm stretch before working out, um, as well as a stretch after working out have been shown to be very helpful in preventing injury. And what I mean by a warm stretch is, um, if you're gonna go for a run, go for a little walk first, and then do a stretch, as opposed to stretching when you hop out of bed, which is a cold stretch. Stretching helps condition tissue. It also hastens uh, tissue recovery. Um, stretching muscles and massaging muscles after strenuous or um, endurance activities has been shown to dramatically decrease the time for muscular and soft tissue recovery.